Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back at one of my favorite filming spot locations because guess what? We have something unique coming from Lexus and it's this vehicle right here. This is the all new 2023 Lexus RX 500H. I'm not done yet. F Sport Performance. But before we get into this midsize sport performance spec SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. When you think of luxury SUVs, really all of them out there in the auto industry today owe it to the RX. It was Lexus that first came out with the RX many years ago being the first luxury crossover SUV. A lot of brands thought Lexus was nuts. Brands were laughing at them, calling them names, but guess what? They stuck to their guns and now the RX is the official OG of those luxury SUVs. Now, of course, since the original RX, SUVs have grown in size. This particular model is a midsize, two row midsize SUV. What's interesting is that for 2023, they decided to open up the spectrum of possibility to powertrains with this RX and it's specifically the 500H F Sport Performance. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a luxury performance sport SUV, do you go with this 500H or maybe a twin turbocharged Genesis GV80? So let's go ahead, let's dive in, find out if this is the better one to buy and is it worth the price when you're looking for a new performance sport style luxury SUV? Let's go ahead and dive in. First of all, the color, very, very unique. It's almost like a rose gold type of color on this RX350. When you start at the front of the business, you're gonna get that familiar Lexus style and it really fits the new body lines of the RX. So you're gonna have full LED triple beam headlights, LED turn signals, and those great looking daytime running lamps. Working your way down, this is an F Sport. F is the name of the game. With functionality, the bug guts are not included. So we're right now in love bug season, got love bugs flying around Florida. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It has nothing to do with a ladybug. But we do have functionality for all the inner bits and for arrow at the front end of the business. We do have LED fog lamps, nicely nestled in that area of gloss black. And then just the way that they kind of use the gloss black to create extra style, it really works well, especially with this upper portion looking very aggressive. Now, as we come across that spindle, what they're calling the spindle body design, and the reason why they're calling it that is because you'll notice how the actual front fascia is where the spindle starts. Then it flows into the grill, forward facing camera, Lexus badge prominently displayed. And then you'll notice that lower lip splitter in that satin silver with functionality from top to bottom. Now, when you get up onto the hood, some people have been calling this like a porpoise or a dolphin. The way that the shape of the nose of a dolphin is sort of like the shape of this Lexus, but it's very, very clean. Not a bunch of different folds and like a piece of origami. This thing is clean on the style, but yet aggressive. You'll notice how we have that curve and you can see the rise from the top of the hood and where the hood meets the headlight housing and the fender. As we come around that fender opening, feast your eyes on these su sexy, seductive wheels. Multi-spoke, satin black, two-piece rotor, six piston calipers with the Lexus badge on there, 21 inch wheel, largest wheel, ever featured on an RX. And if you're wondering what Joe, what's the size of the tire? 235 on the width. You have your 50 series sidewall. And remember, we got a lot of technology with this because we have all wheel drive and we have electric power hybrid setup. Since it's a 500H, we'll talk more about that, especially with regen braking and stuff. But the brakes are two piece rotors. That means they're gonna be lighter, which means rotating mass is lighter and that's gonna quicken up the steering. And there's a little surprise at the tail end of the business with this RX. Love the way they body colored the fender openings. And I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around and show you that functional fender then at the front of the fender there, how it's all functional. Of course, if we're talking F-Sport, we got our F-Sport badge, clean design, 
gloss black on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras and our turn signals. Loving the black chrome. Black chrome finish. Door handles are not actually your typical door handle. You don't pull on it, you push the button and that's how it opens. Up top we have our low roof rails, full panoramic roof. My favorite body line is how this one comes right into that rear quarter window. And that's the great news is this is not gloss black. This is actually glass. Rear quarter window with that trim, the dark chrome trim flows nicely into the rear quarter panel. And then coming around, look at what we got. Yes! No rear wiper. The wiper is tucked underneath. No exposed rear wiper that's going to swing down, clean the glass. Got a nice long low roof spoiler. Love the way they did the lighting. Very, very nicely done. The big zonk. This is a fake vent. All the vents were functional until this point right here. So that's one zonk. We do have our direct four all wheel drive system, our RX 500H badge, the Lexus branding. And then as we go all the way down, I wish they would have gave us some exhaust. What they did give us are some functional vents. These are actually functional on the lower corners, but I think some type of exhaust on both sides would have been a nice touch. Let me know how you feel about that with this rear end of the RX. And I had a surprise for you. You see those rear wheels and tires? These actually move. There's rear wheel steering. Four degrees, they will move to quicken the steering. And wait until we go on throttle. I'm gonna showcase how this thing goes through the twisty bits. But I'm out here in the Florida sun, sweating like a fiend. But let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk performance of this 500H. Hey guys, we got the hood popped. Underneath the hood is going to be a bit of a surprise. So when you look at the competition, specifically like the GV80, you got a twin turbo charge V6 putting out well over 300 horsepower. Here, what are we looking at? We're looking at a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four that's paired to two electric motors with that combo deal and the direct four wheel drive system. You have 366 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque, made it to a six speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds, quarter mile at 14.2 at 97 miles an hour, top speed is governed to 130 miles per hour. The vehicle weighs 4,793 pounds and MPGs 27 in the city, 28 on the highway. So interesting how Lexus developed performance out of a small displacement, small size engine, 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, 366 horsepower with those electric motors and the all wheel drive. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this thing up and see it go. Alright guys, we're inside this 2023 RX 500H F Sport Performance. I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, I've been looking for a luxury performance sport SUV. I don't want to go BMW, I don't want to go Audi, but I am liking this Lexus. How much is it? So MSRP, basically the way that this one is spec is right at $75,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition, to the door panels. I love the style inside this new RX. You have that beautiful Alcantara microfiber suede material with the contrast ditching, our multi-speaker Mark Levinson sound system, and then of course, that great material around the switch gear. You have that silver button there that you press in the middle to open up the door, and then the door pocket is large enough for a full rack of baby back ribs from Chili's, and you could stop at Olive Garden and get, and get yourself some amazing large breadsticks. Now going from the door panel to the dash, the nice silver trim, that Alcantara material, soft touch everywhere, super flow into our massive infotainment system screen. So you got that 14 inch infotainment system screen. Of course, we've already shown you the Lexus multimedia in here, but very intuitive. The big zonk is, is to change modes, you have to go into the infotainment system. 
To do heated and ventilated seats, which this has, you have to go into the infotainment system. Same thing with the heated steering wheel. That to me is a bit of a zonk. Another thing is, I wish that I had a real button to adjust the blower fan. You have these nice knobs for your dual climate control. I just wish that this was a physical, sort of like the volume knob, just give me another knob, maybe next to it, to adjust the blower fan uh, setup. Now, throwing it in reverse, super clear on the resolution. I mean, it's amazing. 360 degree camera, all that great sensing technology. And then we're right back where we started. You got your power on button up top because this is a hybrid. Working your way down, AC vents. Down below, we have a Twinkie tray, four Twinkies across, USB-C, loving this aluminum style trim. Open the door, what do we have? Wireless charging and enough room in there to where you have a USB-C, a USB-A, and you could put two He-Man action figures in there. He-Man and Skeletor will fit perfectly in that compartment and you can keep them safe away from your kids. Two cup holders, this is gonna control your six speed automatic transmission. You got your traction control off, you got your different modes and everything. And then like I said, soft material with the stitching. The nice thing about this is that you could open it up this way or you could open it up my way, but I'm gonna open it up this way so Steven has a better view to show you. Felt lining. So what you could do is, is that if you have the Hope Diamond, say your, your grandmother was the woman in Titanic that had the Hope Diamond and she threw it overboard and you went back to find it, you could keep it in here and this felt lining, you're not gonna scratch your family jewels. And I promise you, no guy wants his family jewels scratched in a center console compartment. I promise you that. Seats. That material, the F-Sport badge looking good. Nice on the bolstering, the Alcantara style material. Full electric assist for the passenger, for the driver. And we have this massive panoramic sunroof. One touch operation. Look at how it goes all the way back. And we have a digital rear view mirror. I could actually get the phone number off the business of that plumbing truck right there. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this leather wrap steering wheel in this Lexus RX. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. The great news is you could share this with a total of three people, including you. So two friends and you, three memory seat settings. You do have a nice F-Sport badge and sill plate. And then the pedal box looks amazing. Nice large dead pedal, all aluminum, brake pedal and throttle. You even have the RX embroidery on the floor mats that's worth an extra five horsepower. Lower lumbar, easy to get to the switch gear. I'm six feet tall, feels great in here even with the panoramic sunroof. Steering wheel, somewhere you're gonna wanna just put your hands all over. The thickness is right on the money. You do have this great stitching, two-piece leather, F-Sport badge. We do have paddles behind the steering wheel to go through that six-speed automatic. And this is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that nice large digital display in the center there to where you could show all of the important information. Watch this, when you go into sport mode, bam, look Look at the way the tack is across the top. You got eco mode, you know us. We're gonna leave it sport mode there. Clean graphics and a head up display. But why don't we get into the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna enjoy and experiencing, because it's all about the experience in this Lexus, experience the performance of this 500H. All right guys, back seat time and you know what? For the layout of this vehicle, you actually have a nice generous amount of room. Six feet tall, didn't shrink. There's the panoramic roof and I still feel like I'm not even close to the headliner. The material is all the way around, nice soft material. Large pockets, you could easily put, I would say five Kodak disposable box cameras. Remember the days when we didn't have phones that had cameras and how would you be able to take pictures on the fly? you had that Kodak or generic brand or whatever box camera that you would take the pictures and then take them down to your local Walgreens or whatever and get them developed. Keep those back there. I think they still sell them somewhere. I know Polaroids are starting to make a comeback. Steven's starting to invest in that uh, type of equipment that he films with. So we'll see what happens with that. You do have one heck of a command center. AC vents, USB-Cs, heated seats, but look at that, thank you Lexus. We have three stages of ventilated seats 
and your climate control that's easy to adjust. I love the space here. Love all the materials, the Mark Levinson sound system. And you have a wonderful armrest that does a couple different things. First of all, you got your two cup holders. Somebody looks Sorry, like they I'm spilled their uh, chocolate milk all over the place. And then you got your, your other area. This is where you're gonna keep your marbles. So if you ever lose your marbles, look in here because maybe this is where you put them. Because I know sometimes I can lose my marbles and the day is over. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see what we could haul in this Lexus. All right guys, time to get in that cargo area. Hit the button, nice electric assist. What you're gonna be greeted to is quite a generous amount of space. What are we looking at? You're looking at 30 cubic feet of space with the seats up, 46 cubic feet of space with the seats down. There's your subwoofer for that Mark Levinson sound system. You do get a 12 volt and you have your switch gear to fold down the rear seats right from this position. And on the passenger side, we can't go without our Lexus first aid kit. And we do have, once you get the lid open, a nice home power source. But why don't we go ahead, it's about that time. Let's see if this vehicle lives up to the name of F Sport Performance. Let's go on throttle in our 500 All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Lexus RX 500H F Sport Performance. It is one heck of a mouthful, but I want to really kind of showcase everything that this luxury sport performance SUV is all about. First of all, we're driving to the twisty bit area, and one thing that I've really recognized with this Lexus is that the sound deadening material, the management of the outside noises getting into the interior is second to none it's so smooth and quiet in here you're not getting any wind noise you're not getting a ton of road noise even with those 21 inch wheels largest on any rx and the fact that you have the versatility of the three different modes that i showed you and this has the usability of an SUV, but like these front seats are so supportive and have some really nice lateral grip to them that when it's time to have a little bit of fun and let your hair down, it really is able to follow step with you. The one thing that I did mention earlier that I'll mention again is that the pain is that you have to go into the infotainment system and switch what mode you want. Remember, you have the three standard modes, and then of course you have custom. And I'm gonna go from normal to sport. Immediately, you feel a difference in the revs, in the RPMs where you're at, even though we have not increased our speed. I love the way the digital instrumentation changes. And this is really gonna allow us to kind of flex the sport performance side of this F Sport performance. But material wise, love all the touches. I know some people feel like maybe they could have done a little bit more, but for me, I'm digging it. I also like the way, for the most part, there's a nice flow to how the infotainment system is and the digital gauge cluster is totally separate. Totally separate from the infotainment. I don't really enjoy when it's all just one piece like in a Mercedes-Benz product. But visibility is great. We do have our, remember, digital rear view mirror, side mirrors, and then of course the upgraded Lexus safety equipment, blind spot monitoring, emergency brake assist, lane keep assist, lane trace. I mean, it's all there for you. But as we're going down this highway road, cruising about 60, it really gives you a nice, serene environment to exist in. All right, guys, I wanna do an acceleration run. I wanna show you that direct four all-wheel drive system. I'm gonna use the paddles to shift through the six-speed automatic transmission. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. This is where it's gonna surprise you. Then on the brakes, that rear wheel steering helping us out. 
powering out of the corner. <laughs> I tell you, this is where this vehicle is gonna surprise you. It really makes a difference with how it gets the power to the ground. And one thing that's really mind blowing and wonderful is of course the rear wheel steering. That allows you to just feel so comfortable with making a turn, even a tight radius turn with the assistance of just, it's just four degrees. That's all it is. We're not talking about the rear wheels are twisting all over the place, just four degrees and it really allows you to feel confident and capable. Another thing that this road is really showing is of course that adaptive suspension, really doing a great job soaking up the bumps but allowing me to stay planted. But I think the thing that I'm noticing that I really like is that you don't get a ton of body roll, but yet you're not pogo sticking all over the place. So it's able to absorb the bumps, but yet when you throw it into a turn, it's staying relatively flat for the type of vehicle that it is. Second gear, on throttle, here we go. On the brakes, those massive calipers. Look at this, here we go. <laughs> there was a little bit of front end push there, but that's more having to do with the type of tires that this RX 500HF Sport Performance has. Obviously, they're looking for a compromise. If you put a more performance-oriented tire, that's even going to up the ante to a new level. The transmission with the paddles actually shifts relatively quickly. The one thing you're going to notice is that you might want to go down a gear, and it won't let you. It's obviously there to keep certain parameters in tech, and if you haven't met all of those different things, then it's not gonna let you downshift. But the upshifts and the downshifts are relatively quick, quickly, um, especially for being a traditional torque converter automatic transmission. I guess the best news is no CVT whatsoever. You are getting some sound pumped in through the speakers, but I'm finding that it actually helps with the experience. It's not hurting it. And it definitely doesn't sound or feel like you're being powered by a four cylinder turbocharged engine. But the fact that to get to everything in here, it's well laid out, lots of great tech, lots of great connectivity, and lots of great room. And I'm telling you, these seats are really, really good. Not just for a long distance haul on a straight road, but also through the twisty bits. Once again, I'm coming to a slow down here and then we're gonna go on throttle i'm gonna do it from a slow roll on throttle here we go look at that really puts you back in the seat on the brakes <laughs> the rear wheel steering makes up for any push that you're getting from the front end and like i said it's pushing because these aren't super high performance tires but the fact that this rx 500 hf sport performance is willing to work with you and be playful with you is what i'm really loving plus the fact that you're sitting in the lap of luxury and of course you're going to get that great reliability and dependability that lexus is just known for all right let's have a little bit more twisty bit fun second gear on throttle but the feedback to the wheel is fantastic. I mean, look at this, through this nice right-hand sweeper. Brakes feel good. And she doesn't feel top-heavy. That's what I like about this vehicle, is that you don't feel like you're sitting on the top of a tower and you're trying to turn. You're actually able to really feel composed and planted. And that's where all that work to the suspension, the chassis, all of that is getting down into that. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I want a V6, I want a V6, I want a V6. I think this shows that with the two electric motors 
and even though you have the turbocharged inline four, you're still getting plenty of power, 366 horsepower, plenty of torque, but then it's not so heavy over the front end like a traditional V6 powered SUV. So something to think about there. All right, guys, we gotta do the twisty bits again. On right, throttle, here we go, that rear wheel steer, I tell you, feels amazing. You're gonna notice it right away, I promise you that. <laughs> Look at this. Nice. I tell you, it, not only does it help on these tighter turns, but when you're making a U-turn, it's freaking phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal with the rear wheel steering. All right, guys, one more time for me. Definitely one more time for you. On throttle, here we go. Really gets that power down so nicely. Soaking up the bumps, but yet still giving me plenty of handling, good handling characteristics, good feedback, not only to the steering wheel, but also to the seat. But as you can see, going down this bumpy back road, it's absorbing all of the harshness. I'm not getting the harshness. I'm getting the info, but not all of the harshness throwing it around too much. But the fact that it just powers out of each and every turn and what you're gonna love is, is that those two electric motors are gonna mitigate any boost lag that you're thinking you're gonna experience. So it gives a nice, smooth, power torque delivery all the way through. And then, like I said, to be able to use this to pick up the kids, go out to dinner, and then just enjoy a nice country back road, it does it all really, really well, plus with some great technology. But I'm hoping that this has been a good overall review for you of the 500H F Sport Performance RX, of course. We're gonna get back and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one kind of fun, fantastic F Sport kind of day with this Lexus 500H F Sport Performance. We definitely gotta thank everybody at Lexus for getting us access to this particular vehicle. Let me know what you think. Is this the best new luxury sport performance SUV? Would you rather go Genesis GV80 or one of the other brands? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to thank the man behind the lens, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working it like a champ. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.